welcome back to my channel so today i had to pop out because uh i ran out of toilet roll so i had to go and get some uh i got a few other bits while i was out but oh my god when i left it was raining i come out of the supermarket the sun was shining i'm absolutely sweating uh it's not good um but i got some uh, a few bits uh, a few bargains as well so and I have a new recipe that I'm going to be making very soon as well. So I mainly went to get that ingredient today because I'm not going out for a while now. So I've got all the stuff that I need. So um, I did shopping for my mum and um, I put it into a, a taxi and got it sent off to her ass. Um, saves me going around there. So that's what I did. And um, then I came home. Um, but uh, this is what I see. Got. It's not a lot. Well, it might seem a lot to you guys, but it's not. So, where do we start? I wanted some bread and some milk. My milk went out of date. I couldn't believe it. I was very annoyed with that. Um, but that's because I got it from the, the local shop rather than the supermarket. I find that local shops, they go off a lot quicker than a normal supermarket does. Um, I've got some garlic and coriander naan breads. Because I'm, I'm going to do a curry. Um... I always forget about naan bread when I have a curry. I don't know why, but I do. I've got some medium tikka curry powder. That's going to be for my new recipe. Uh, well, it's not my recipe. It's, it's, I see it in a magazine, so I'm going to try that out. It's a Slimming World meal. It's sin-free as well. Um, I, every time I go shopping, I always get a couple of packs of these noodles because I love these for lunches. Um, a nice little... Uh, I only bought this because it's on offer for £1. I don't buy it when it's at like £1.75, £1.80 um there we go now a friend of mine said that um he has these and he said they're really nice i've not tried them i'm gonna give them a go and it was um two for six pound or 350 each i thought well it's best you know to get two for six um so some nice so there's eight meals there so you know what i mean it's gonna keep me going i've got some uh bit of parsley and a bit of coriander maybe i might make my own garlic bread you never know um coriander is for this new recipe uh what else we got here we got we got some uh peppers uh, a bag of onions some garlic what we got here now these are to die for if you've not tried these these are the smaller ones uh these were in iceland uh they do do the bigger one but i find I can't fit the bun in the toaster, um, so I prefer to get the small one. Um, cause it fits perfectly in the toaster, and these are so delicious. I'm telling you, only one pounds. Uh, what else we got? We got Greek style. Sorry about that. Uh, I stopped video. Uh, I had a little sneeze. Um, so Greek style yogurt. Um, they're totally sin free. I know you're looking at me and for a while look, he's got a beer but i've not had a beer for a while um so yeah that was only two quid uh it's a fairly big bottle um 660 milliliter bottle it's not bad got some pringles i'm not had those for a while uh this easter egg is mine um this is for somebody else they do three for eight quid uh i've dropped uh i dropped uh the other one off off to someone else um got some mushrooms and chicken is for the recipe that i'm going to be making some people that do slimming mode may already work out what meal that i am going to be making i think it's a big giveaway so diced chicken with the peppers with the onion with the garlic with the coriander with the yogurt oh can't forget my loo roll or my mate calls it bum wrap. <laughs> um, now this this was seven pounds fifty for this one. Um, it's not the one I usually buy. I normally buy the classic, but this is gentle clean. Now the classic and the quilted was nine pounds twenty five, and I thought, well, listen, this is Andrex. It's sixteen rolls. It's seven fifty. Surely it's no different to the one that I normally buy. The only difference is, is the price. So I thought, do you know what? I'll just get this one. 7 dollars for 16 rolls of Andrex. I will not complain about that. But that is my shopping all done. So that's it. And now I need to pop that the fish away into the freezer. So a nice quick little uh, little shopping haul there for you. Um, and for myself. Um, 
but yeah, um, I I mainly only went out for like the toilet roll and the ingredients for this new recipe that I came across in the magazine that I've been reading. Um, so yeah, it's something new. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna do a video of it. I might do it today. If not, it might be tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you know, there are some meals here that last a while. I still have a few bits in the freezer already, but this is just like a little top up. My main priority today was toilet roll, bread and milk. And uh, obviously the recipe that I wanna make. And yeah, I only got a few extras, like the beer was an extra, uh, the naan bread was an extra. Uh, and the pasty but other than that that is uh that is uh the shopping haul done so i'm gonna go and pull it all away so i'll catch you very soon hello guys so it took a long time to try and decide what to have for dinner so i'm gonna keep it nice quick and simple i'm just gonna have egg chips with uh spaghetti shapes uh well it's not spaghetti shapes it's like you know spaghetti and tomato sauce that sort of thing uh spaghetti hoops that was it so i'm just gonna have those and that will be dinner. Guys, right, change of plan. So now dinner is going to be, I'm gonna do some sausage rolls with some chips, some onion rings, and some spaghetti hoops with some bread and butter. So first of all, I'm going to be whacking in the, the chips and the onion rings. Onion rings take not long, 14 minutes. Uh, chips they take about 25 and these take about 25. Right, there you go guys so chips and onion rings together and then the sausage rolls together so this shouldn't take two rings over. Oh God. Very hot. There we go. Right here guys so chips and my onion rings are done. Uh, I'm not cooking my chips for too long today because the other day when I cooked them for the mixed grill a bit overcooked and uh, they were very crunchy. I'm just going to stick my hoops in the microwave for one minute. Just give it a stir. I mean I know a few people they actually don't do it like this but this is how you're meant to do it. One minute in the microwave, give it a stir, put it back in for another. Right, I just buttered up my bread so maybe some bread and butter with my dinner. Perfect. Perfectly cooked. I'm very hot too. Let's move these over there. This one is stuck. There's always one that gets stuck every time. It's a pain in the arse. So now this is going to be where it gets tricky. The tripod should be coming tomorrow. Uh, well, the clamp anyway. So I can't wait for that. I love dinners like this. I don't know about you guys, but it brings back my uh, childhood when we used to have dinners like this. Sausage roll and chips, you know. Don't know where the spaghetti is going to go. Oh. Sure, I'll do a rearrangement. All right, so it's spaghetti time. What should I say? It's hoops, hoops time. I, I, I'm sure when we were kids, we used to get these potato products, uh, hula hoops, but I don't think they do them anymore. Does anyone know if they still do them? Let me know. I'd like to get them again. I love those. There we go, and just add in my bread and butter, and there we go. Dinner is served. Hello guys, so that was dinner. It was awfully delicious. Uh, like I said, I love meals like that. I haven't had meals like that for years. So, you know, I think I might do more meals like that. I quite enjoy them. Um, so that is my video for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.